Microplastics are defined as plastics less than 5 millimeters in size. They may appear as microbeads, fibers, and fragments. They may be found in common household products such as cosmetics, hand sanitizers, and even toothpaste to exfoliate your skin and clean your teeth better. In addition to the aforementioned sources, they may also originate from common, everyday objects such as cigarette butts made from plastic, synthetic clothing, and discarded plastic bottles. Due to their small size, microplastics are too small to be removed by municipal wastewater treatment plants and may end up in streams, rivers, lakes, or oceans. Here, they may be ingested by small aquatic insects and other microorganisms such as daphnia, fish, and even shellfish that mistake them for food. This allows microplastics to work their way up the food web, eventually humans, who may consume these organisms, possibly causing bioaccumulation of harmful chemicals and negative health impacts. As a result of human action, plastic products end up in the environment where it takes many years to degrade. Sometimes even lawn care products such as plastic mesh may end up in aquatic environments. Even items as seemingly innocuous as discarded fishing line, already known to directly impact animals such as ducks, geese, turtles, and fish, may eventually have an environmental impact as microplastics, so please, don't leave it behind. Oftentimes, People will take food and beverages into the outdoors, and not everyone disposes of their trash in proper receptacles and leave it behind. Eventually, these items make their way towards water sources and begin the pathway to become microplastics. As you enjoy the outdoors, please make it a habit to take home more than you brought with you. To better educate people on causes, impacts, and mitigation of microplastics, Researchers at Wayne State University have engaged the public in various formats, including K-12 outreach, presentations, and meetings to report findings of research activities. Please visit the Great Lakes Protection Fund website for more information, and remember to be a steward of the environment.